All right, let's go over number 1464, maximum product of two elements in an array. Given the array of integers nums, so we have an array of integers, you will choose two different indices i and j of that array. Return the maximum value of nums at index i minus 1 times nums at index j minus 1. Okay. So we need the maximum product of two values and two rules here, no duplicates, because it says two different indices, i and j. And number two is we want the product, but we want to subtract one from each number. And if we work with our example one, we have array three, four, and five, two. So we're gonna go through our array and get number at index i and number at index j. And let's just work with these two because obviously they seem most likely to give our solution. So our numbers are 4 and 5. And remember that we have to subtract 1, right? So that's going to give us 3 and 4. And we want to get the product of these num two numbers. If we multiply these together, we get 12. And if we check our output, we get 12, right? And you want to do this, you want to perform this operation for all numbers and then get the maximum highest product. If you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, for this one, I think I'll go over two different solutions. One that best illustrates the concept for this problem and one that is more um, easier to code. So let's start with one that better illustrates the concept for this problem. So first thing I'm going to do is obviously make our function, uh, which takes a nums array. And I'm going to make a products array, which is going to store uh, the products of all the numbers. And what I'll do is I'm going to iterate through our products array, or nums array, actually. And let i is equal to 0. i is going to be less than nums.length increment by 1 each time. And I'm going to make a, another nested loop so that we can iterate through this array twice and get two different numbers. And let j is equal to i plus 1. Because remember, the problem says no duplicates. And if we didn't have i or if we just set it to 0, we would have the duplicates. So i plus 1. And j is going to be less than nums.length and increment j by 1 each time and we're going to push in the products of these two numbers so products.push and it's going to be nums at index i and remember we have to subtract our number by 1 that was the second row and we're going to multiply this number by nums at index j minus 1 and if we return our products here you'll see that our number of or actually our products are so we get our products uh, 6, 8, 12, 6, 8, 2, 12, 3, and 4. And we don't want a bunch of products, right? We want the maximum. So what we want to do is uh, make this uh, parentheses and we'll do math.math function and we'll spread our array. And if we do that, we get our max number. So 12, 16, and 12. So first one, 12, 16, and 12. So we get our result. And let's go over our second solution, which is more um, easier to code. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sort my array, um, our nums array. So nums.sort a and b, a minus b. So this is uh, going to sort our array in ascending order. So if we print our array, return nums. I'm going to change this to z and... So we, as you can see, we have our sorted array 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 4, 5, 5, and 3, 7. And remember, since this is um, sorted, the last one is going to be our max. And second to last is going to be our second largest number. So let's make two variables. Let max 1 is equal to nums at nums.length minus 1 minus 1 because we want to decrease this number by 1. And same thing, max... This is our second biggest number, nums at nums.length minus 2 and minus 1 again. 
So what we did was get two numbers. So if you're looking at example one, five is going to be our max one, four is going to be our max two. And now we want to return the product of these numbers. So we'll do max one times max two. And we get our results 12, 16, and 12. So this one is a little bit more easier to code, but I think this one, the first one, better illustrates uh, the concept for this problem. Okay, let's go over our code one more time just to get a better understanding. So we declare a function which takes in nums array and we made a products array. This is going to store all possible products. And later we return our products array and we use a spare operator and find the maximum product from this products array. So if we work with example two, we have one, five, four, and five. And we iterate through this array using a nested loop here. Remember, we don't want any duplicates, right? That's why we have i plus one that prevents us from getting any duplicates. So when i is equal to zero, j is going to be one and it's going to keep looping. So j is going to be equal to two because we have zero, one, two, three, and j is going to be three. And our numbers are going to be one, five, one, four, and one, five. We loop our second outer loop and j is going to be two j is going to be three and that's five and four and five and five when i is equal to two j is going to be three and that's four and five and if we get the product of these two after subtracting one so it's gonna be this is gonna be zero and four that means it's going to be zero this one is gonna be zero again because one minus one is always zero this is zero and this one's gonna be four and three four times three is 12 this one is four times four which is 16 this is four times i mean three times four which is going to be 12 and if you look our product is going to be zero 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 twelve sixteen and twelve and after getting this um product sorry we're going to use the spread operator and find the maximum number using math.max and we are left with 16 and if you check result this is what we get and for the second solution uh, what we do is we just sort our product i mean we just sort our nums array so our number array is going to look like one four and five and five and we get the last number and second to last number so max one is going to be this, which is gonna be four minus one. Max two is going to be, it should be five minus one. Five minus one also, which is, which is going to be four and four. And we multiply these two numbers, four times four to get 16. And that's what, how we get our final result over here. And if you are not familiar with sort, A minus B is going to give ascending. And if you do B minus A, that's going to give descending. And if you do that, our array is going to look like five, five, four, one. So if you use descending, you would get, you would try to get um, nums at index zero and nums at index one. And then you just subtract one to get the values.